Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Welcome to Animal Class. I heard that miniature donkeys surprisingly make good pets. Is that true? I'm here at the Toronto Zoo to find out. I'm joined by zookeeper Brendan Bonner. Brendan, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. And you brought someone with you. Can you introduce them? Yeah, so this here is Sterling. He's our miniature donkey that we have here at the Toronto Zoo. Um, he's 19 years old. He's been with us at the zoo now for about, oof, about 14, 15 years. Sterling stands about three and a half feet tall, about half that of a regular donkey. Like the rest of his horse family, he has a long nose and mouth, but unlike a horse, his mane is upright and bristly, and his ears almost a foot long. Hearing is very important for donkeys. Um, being so small, you've got to be able to kind of see what's coming up on you and things of that nature. Um, so he can rotate those ears a full 180 degrees, so they can point backwards, they can point forwards, all kinds of ways. They're kind of like a radar dish when he's uh, on edge. Sterling has a short coat of brown and white fur that gets thicker and shaggier in winter. He also weighs about 100 pounds. This donkey eats like a king. Here at the zoo, he gets a mixture. He gets a lot of hay, kind of get that natural roughage in his diet. He also gets uh, apples, pears, carrots, some sweet potato, um, and then occasionally a specialized cube that we have here, just a herbivore cube. It's a supercharged with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, but it also packs on the weight, so we can't give it to him too, too often. <laughs> we got to keep Sterling miniature. How long can a miniature donkey live? Oh, you can get them into their 30s easily. Oh, wow. Um, typically, so if you kind of think of the same lifespan of a horse. Yeah. Is there any validity to the notion that donkeys make great pets? Well, I mean, <laughs> they are great animals. They're com they are raised as companion animals sometimes, but you do have to have a lot of land. You've got to have the resources to take care of them. You don't want them in a, a small Toronto <laughs> apartment with you. They're not, it's not going to work that out. Might that might violate the condo board rules, yeah. <laughs> I've often heard, you know, donkeys can be stubborn animals. Is it true? And does it uh, relate to the miniature donkey? Sterling as well? embodies that statement, I would <laughs> say. He's one of the most stubborn animals I've ever worked with. He's got a very good person. He's a strong personality okay. uh, to Sterling here. He's very particular about who he likes. Um, I'm not necessarily his favorite person in the world, typically, uh, mostly because most of the vets that we've ever had here at the zoo, that's right, uh, <laughs> most of the vets that we've had here at the zoo have been men. So Sterling tends yep. to not be super keen on men that he works with because he associates us with the medical procedures. Well, and I'm trying not to take the the, the spit I just got covered in too personally, I understand. Would I be able to pet Sterling? Yeah, we can sure give it a shot if you want to come around and give a nice little pat on his shoulder here. Okay. I'm not sure I want Sterling to spin on me again, and I'd also like to avoid a nip of the hand. Just come by yeah, behind you we'll do a, Yeah, we'll do a trade there. Okay. So just a nice yeah, there we go. hearty pat for Sterling. There you go, bud. Yeah, the fur is very soft. Yeah. I'm actually quite surprised how soft it is. How are you doing, Sterling? You having fun? Well, thank you very much, Brandon, and thank you, Sterling, for teaching me a bit about the miniature donkey. And if you at home want to find out more information, visit torontozoo.com.